So we messed up these chairs not once, but twice on live TV. Wait, I messed them up. It wasn't you. Your part was all fine. And then I put the inlay on backwards and then I smeared it because I was rushing. Oh, I think I did put it on backwards. Someone was like, hey, you put it on backwards. I think you're right. Uh, this is the paint side. That's why oh, it's not sticking. Oh, Zebulon. But I lost my temper. Anyways, we're human. <laughs> was that you losing your temper? And things happen. So we decided to make a video where we get them done the right way and we are going to completely redo the paint inlays. So here's a little snippet of how we got to these chairs at this point. We've got apothecary right here. It's mixed with salt wash. Where did you go with my salt wash? I'm gonna need more. Um, it's over here. So I'm gonna do the base. So we get asked a lot, what is salt wash? Why are we using it? It's a paint additive and it makes the paint really nice and thick. You can get a lot of good texture. It also helps with adhesion. It dries rock hard and sticks to almost any surface. We haven't found a surface it doesn't stick well to. And it doesn't change the paint's color or the adhesion that the paint had either. I'm not really stippling it. In a few places I might. I'm just giving this really a good texture. 220 grit on the sandpaper. It's just powdering off. If we were to seal it, it would no longer be porous and it won't powder like that. So that's why you seal the DIY paint. So this is the IOD, the, one of their new inlays that came out last week, I think it was, last week. Okay, we're doing Big Top. We've not done an inlay with Big Top, but we're doing it here with you. This might be some grand experiment. <laughs> Life is a grand experiment. Can you do it? Is that the right direction? Yes. Okay. Hope that wasn't dry over there. I do have a couple spots I'm gonna to need to rub down with my finger. Oh, I think I did put it on backwards. Someone was like, hey, you put it on backwards. I think you're right. Uh, this is the paint side. That's why oh, it's not sticking. Oh, Zebulon. Hold on, let's get it off real quick and I'll redo it with a different one. <laughs> I, I told you it was backwards. Here's the part where I redo the inlay. It's going the right direction. And then I went to sand it without setting the paint on the inlay because inlays are paint and it's smeared all over the place. It didn't look good. So here's the point where we're going to show you how we redo this the right way so that you can have success and not make the mistakes that I was making on a live video. These have been repainted. We just painted over it. They've been re-sanded. And now we're going to do the inlays just using paint. We're done experimenting with the big top. It actually worked fine to adhere the inlay, but then I smeared it. So we're using the Le Chasse transfer and luckily for us, it has one big image that fits on a dresser and then four smaller images. So we've ruined these two. So we're now gonna use these two and get them on the right way. When you wanna do a paint inlay, it needs to go into something. So we used Big Top on our live, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it on this wet paint. So I'm gonna quickly get a coat on and then Zeb is going to put the inlay into the paint and we will be good to go. You wanna make sure that you're ready to go when you get started painting because you don't have a ton of open time. So get your coat on there nice and even and then put your inlay in. <laughs> Zeb's stepping on the counter. Perfect. So I'm just gonna use this sprayer to really make sure that it is fused into the paint because the paint inlay is actual paint and we're just putting paint on paint. Okay, once that happens, next step, we're gonna get all the back of this paper wet. Not sopping. I'm just lightly spritzing it. We're spritzing. And then you let this dry completely and then we will spritz again after, but we'll show you that in a minute. The most effective way to get the paint and lay wet is to actually use a damp rag. That way you're just getting the back wet and you're not getting water all over your paint finish. You can tell that it works fine to just get your rag wet instead of spraying it because that transferred great. Oh, that transferred really well. This is the second chair. This inlay is actually a second time transfer on this because I messed it up the first time we did it again. So three mess ups in this project because I didn't put it on straight. It's really important to take your time on these, not rush through, and you can get some really great results.
So I've got half water, half DIY big top in here, and I'm going to set the inlay. This was the mistake that we did on the live video is we distressed it before the inlay was set and the pigment powder and making a big hot mess. So I'm gonna set it with two sprays, coats of this, then we can lightly sand and then we'll seal it. Even if you're not gonna sand, I suggest setting the inlay before you brush anything on it because you don't want to smear the inlay. Now that it's dry, I can sand it without worrying about it smearing all over the place. I'm just giving a little bit distress, smoothing it out, getting it ready to wax the piece. I spend probably about 45 minutes per chair sanding to get the distress just right and smooth things out. This particular patina that I'm gonna be creating is a three-step process. First, you have to use DIY's clear wax over the entire piece. Wipe it back and you're ready for dark or black wax, whatever you choose. I work in small sections with a JRV stencil brush and wipe back as I go. Once I get that just the way I like it, I'm using the golden rule patina just to highlight the details, the edges, and the scrolls. Would you look at these gorgeous chairs that I am now putting tassels on with hemp? So we're cutting the tassels off of this and then I take a good length of the hemp rope cord twine We'll call it twine. We'll go with twine run it down to where even and then I run this back through here And then I'm gonna do a couple good old granny knots Because I can and no one stopped me We hope you guys enjoyed this redemption video and that you learned a few things along the way so when you're doing paint inlays, you don't have to make the mistakes that we did. If you want to purchase these products, go to jamierayvintage.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it out, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.